as Connor here in the library at AESC Business School in Portugal. Been teaching here this week and here in this room surrounded by books. It's a good place to stop and reflect. Uh, it's late in the day and I was thinking about an important idea. Everything important in life takes time. Hey, it's Connor here in Lisbon. Got a few days here in Lisbon. Over there is the University of Lisbon. We've got a hospital here across the road, and just around the corner here is the AESE Business School where I'm teaching this week. Uh, it's been a strange experience to get back on an airplane and, and travel again after nine months of not going through airports, not getting on airplanes, and not traveling. So here from the ninth floor, we see Lisbon in November. Given that everything important takes time, one of the important things to work on is our own horizon with which we are thinking, how far into the future we are capable of imagining. And what I've seen is People have huge differences in terms of how far into the future they feel that their plans really matter. And if your plans only, you can only see till the end of today, it's very hard to build anything important. If you can see to the end of this week, it's very hard to build anything important. Everything's kind of transactional. If you can see till the end of this month, you're not going to build anything important. You're just going to get through. You can see to the end of this year. Well, a year gives you time to build some things, but it's not enough time to finish a degree at a university. It's not enough time to really learn a skill. So even a year is too short a time horizon if you intend to do important things in life. Maybe 10 years, if you can cultivate a vision 10 years out. And I think it's not natural for us to think in terms of a decade. It takes work. It takes noting things down in a book. It takes referring back to it. It takes thinking about what changes you need to make, what habits today aren't going to pay off in a year, aren't going to pay off even five years. It'll take 10 years before they start to pay off. And for me, Dan Sullivan, one of the things that uh, he shared with me that really s struck was how he maintains this long-term perspective on his life and thinks long term and he in his 40s decided he was in too much of a rush and part of the rush was feeling that he didn't have much time left so he decided he was going to cultivate an attitude that he was going to live until 120 and he was going to work until 120 and it changed the way he dedicates his time to things if you're going to be around till 120 and you know, I'm 47 years old. If, if I've got until the age of 120 to build my business, if I've got until the age of 120 to build the friendships with the people around me, and that I'm going to build friendships that I want to be around me, not just in five years, not just in 10 years, but over 20, 30, 40, 50 years, it's worth investing in that length of time. But it's only worth investing if you can cultivate an ability to think way out into the future. And, you know, I find one of the challenges I had as a kid is I really didn't see further than the next summer or the next Christmas. And one of the things I'm really trying to cultivate with uh, my business and my life these days is see life for the next 50 years and take decisions today, take decisions that aren't gonna change my business or my life over the next year, over the next five years, but they become important as you look out over 50 years. And what I would encourage you to do is, is think about what ways you can change the time horizon with which you think about the important decisions in life. How, what is your natural time horizon for thinking about when the results have to come for effort to be worthwhile. Because if you can cultivate a 50-year time horizon, you can start to plant a lot of seeds 
that may not germinate in five years or in 10 years, but they really start to transform life as you reach there, the 50 year time. So that's a reflection here from this library, surrounded by books from 100, 200 years ago, as well as lots of books from fairly recent. Have a great one. Hope you are well. Thank you for your likes, your subscribes, your comments. It helps me keep making these videos, keep connecting with you guys. Uh, this has been my first travel in a while, uh, and it's been strange to get back on an airplane. Uh, but we've still got some COVID to deal with yet. So stay safe, wash your hands, have a good one.